Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We're pleased to once again be joined by Nick Sanchez, the driver of the number two Rev Racing Chevrolet for Rev Racing in the Arkham Menard Series. How's it going, man? Going good. So another sixth place finish for you at Berlin. Uh, kind of talk about uh, how that went for you. Um. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I think we were sixth in practice. We qualified sixth and we finished sixth. So, uh, um. You know, it's not uh, obviously really big progress on our short track stuff compared to Elko. Um, and, you know, we were we were off to where I wanted to be. But as far as relative to, you know, like the 20, the 15, even the 17, we were just a little bit uh, off, uh, I would say, their times and uh, their speed. Um, so, you know, even though we finished six, you know, it wasn't a horrible night by any means. Um, not where I want to be at all um, as a driver. Um, where I think my team wants to be, but uh, I, I think we're making a little more progress on these little tiny tracks. So uh, that's a good thing, I guess. So we're going to Iowa this weekend. Big opportunity for you, of course. Iowa Speedway, the only race that, that that's happening this year is you guys uh, this week, and you're kind of owning the motorsports scene for a little bit with uh, with basically most of the motorsports industry: NASCAR, IndyCar, IMSA. Uh, F1 all off for the Olympic break. And uh, it's uh, you guys and the straight liners. Um, so of course, I mean, NHRA by the straight liners. So what's it going to be like uh, kind of owning the racing weekend uh, at a track that uh, not a lot of people expect to do uh, beyond the schedule for any racing? Yeah. I mean, it's going to be, an, it's going to be a pretty cool weekend. You know, I know a lot of people in Xfinity and trucks that, you know, this is their favorite track and they don't get to go there. So I think it makes a lot of people jealous that ARCA is coming here. Um, and obviously, I mean, I think we're going to be one of the only uh, motorsports uh, racing this weekend or really, I mean, even sporting events in general. Um, so it'll definitely draw a little more attention than to, uh, what we're used to. Um, but also, I I'd say Iowa is a pretty good track. Um, I think it fits my team's description. Um, we've run well at all the big tracks we've been to. So uh just looking forward to compound on what we've been able to do on the bigger tracks. Yeah, we still got baseball, but so don't forget me. Uh, baseball. I don't follow baseball. I don't know. I don't know when their season is in season or off season. I don't know. Just so you know, it starts in April and then it kind of ends in October World Series and then, you know, spring training starts in February. So, uh, yeah, so that's how that that's how that one goes. So. Of course, you know, it's a big, I, I know how big of a weekend this is going to be for, you know, just ARCA in general, but there's going to be a lot of cool things that are happening there with all the, all the former champions that are going to be there. I think Larry Clements bringing his old car there. Um, oh, really? Yeah. So kind of, I know that ARCA is going all, ARCA and of course NASCAR who owns Iowa Speedway are going all out for this, for this, uh, for this weekend. Uh, how excited are you? Because I heard there's a pretty good turnout from uh, from the fans there. I know they're really trying to push this race. Oh no! I mean, uh, obviously, any any time I get to be in a race car, I'm excited. But I think this weekend, you know, it's a track that I visited uh, with the team back in 2018. Obviously, as a spectator, um, never driven it, and uh, I know from just from watching that race that year uh, in person, it was definitely a fun race track. Uh, you can move around. A lot of lanes, um, you know, it's like a, it's like a big short track. You know, you have aerodynamics involved. Uh, you have all those things that you'd see at a mile and a half, but you have you almost have like the beating and banging of a short track. Well, you know, you can kind of slide people. You could, uh, you could rough them up. I mean, that's never ideal, but you can um, without it, the consequences you would at like a Charlotte per se. So uh, a lot of opportunity um, there for us as a team. And I know uh, I'm definitely excited for it. Yeah. Are you excited that you get a teammate with you? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I've probably known Raja for like two, two and a half years. Um, and I've never raced with him other than like a GoPro event. So I'm really excited to, you know, me and Raja, I don't know. It's like a funny comical duo. So uh, it'll be, it'll be funny to race with him. Uh, I know me and him are both like kind of going into the unknown. Um, with never being here so it's kind of cool just to kind of go and relax but uh it'll be fun with them yeah of course you are the uh the 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 comical duo of course we had you both on the trivia show earlier this year that was that was well that's because Roger yeah 
But yeah, Narad does. He's a trip. Uh, well, he just knows everything. I mean, he's like, oh yeah, he's like the he's like uh, he's like uh, like the little mini Brock Beard. I'm not, but uh, that's. I mean, oh, yeah. he, he knows the sport pretty well. I, I will say that. And of course, I'm talking to him later today. So, oh yeah, I, I know. Yeah, going into this weekend at, at Iowa, what would uh, what would be what would be a good weekend for you? How would you how what would satisfy you? Obviously, a win would, but Satis- satisfaction would probably be second. Um, if I could be second uh, to to the eighteen. Or, um, I'd be really satisfied. Um, but you never know, and, you know, if you get a restart or something, I can try to do something. You know, these past two tracks I've been to, I mean, you could only you can't do much on at Elko or a Berlin on a restart. I mean, you can only go as fast as the car in front of you. But you know, Iowa, I mean, you, you have to different lanes. You know, a lot of momentum. Um, and I, I like I like tracks like that because you can make up a lot of. It's where you make your your money on those tracks and the restarts. So. Uh, excited to get the opportunity to do that again just like charlotte or pocono um so yeah see how that plays out of course it's uh, you know it's not just the 18 it's those venturini cars uh and then of course daniel die who just won last week it, it seems like and of course we got dgr as well it's and it seemed like the field has is you know in the first few weeks especially this month i've noticed it's it's just been getting really really competitive everyone's Everyone's just getting at each other. It's awesome. Yeah, um, I know there's a pretty heated championship battle going on, so that's probably playing a big role in it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, a lot of teams are getting their stuff. Uh, they're making it faster. And, uh, you know, we've done it a little bit. It's something that we really need to work on as a team to really make a, a big leap. Um, I think we can, and I think we are going to. So uh, hopefully we can join the world in the – or join the Arca scene in that shocker win type thing, just like the 21, obviously. But uh, I think we can see what happens. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be, uh, if that happens, it'll be two wins in a row for Chevrolet. First, first Chevy win this year. The Toyota's won all the races yeah. this weekend. So um, it'll be uh, be interesting if, uh, if we get another one of those. Uh, it'll be 100%. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nick Sanchez, thank you so much uh, for coming on and uh, good luck this weekend at Iowa. Thank you.